So this program came about as a result of a conversation between the Perth US Asia Centre and the United States State Department. There's been a number of reports and studies in recent times that point to the importance both of the relationship between Australia and the United States in our region, but also the engagement of young people and young professionals and their knowledge about that program and how it's going to work into the future. So it was key for us to ensure that not just traditional and established policy makers and politicians talk about these issues, but young up and coming Australians and professionals in our community are aware of these issues and are able to engage directly with them. It's wonderful that programs like this regional workshop on the future of the US-Australian Alliance can bring together young West Australians to think about our relationship with the United States and taking it forward to the future. Looking at the, the alliance, it can only be stronger, um, especially in the world with you know building those shared values uh, such as freedom of speech, as well as you know um, as our values how we have with, with interacting with each other. I think um, we've heard from obviously a really big range of perspectives, and um, you know how I suppose diverse the views are when it comes to our US-Australia alliance and where we should be heading and what we need to do more of to engage young people. There are so many ideas out there, so it's been really good to sit and discuss that with some pretty eminent people um, in Canberra this week, um, but also in the Melbourne workshop as well. Um, but also hear from you know, counterparts and colleagues and um, people studying in this area. I think the participants in this group particularly have added a lot of insight um, to the topics we've been discussing. At the end of the day, as much as we have, uh, you know, so much access to information, we have brilliant educational institutions, um, still we are human and we actually require in-person workshops and contacts to cement relationships and to cement understandings. I think that having workshops allows us to get a lot of value um, and impact out of a short period of time. We can really concentrate all of the learnings, um, make connections, um, but also more or less reinforce uh, uh, kind of these learnings into a longer term framework of well what, what's next, what do we do to actually carry this on into the future. I think it's not just important, it's imperative and it's critical and I think that that's what we're hearing from um, all different sorts of people, from departmental officials to academics um, to people across the spectrum in political parties. There seems to be real consensus on um, the Asia-Pacific and the Indo-Pacific region and its importance, um, the role of China and particularly that critical history and ongoing future of our alliance with the US. In general, it's been a really positively and wonderful opportunity for these young participants, but also for those of us like myself who've been involved in teaching and discussing and dialogues. And we get as much out of it, of course, as the participants do themselves. In a broad perspective, young people of this Alliance discussion have identified some really key and crucial areas going forward into the future. Our economic relationship with the United States, but also more broadly in Asia. The role of climate change, both as a security concern and environmental concern, and also as a concern for our trading relationship in its direction into the future. These along with issues such as space, the changing geopolitical order, Relationships with other countries such as Indonesia, China and Japan have all featured heavily in our discussions along with maritime security issues in our region. This casts a very broad basis for our relationship with the United States and also for considering and identifying Australia's issues and concerns in our region and what is going to be the best for the security of our country into the future.